This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the Starship Enorma Prize for another episode of um, the Homeworld Build series that we're doing in Space Engineers. Alrighty, so where we left off, we got a good part of the ship built. We are focusing on trying to get this part in the front built all the way up to the nose so we can put the sensors and whatnot that we wanna want the scout to use in our little build series we're doing. Okay, and one of you guys asked me uh, how am I doing this with uh, with like reference pictures, pictures? What kind of reference pictures am I using? If I could speak, that would be nice. Um, they're basically just pictures from um, Homeworld 1. I just loaded the game, built the ship, and then took a bunch of pictures at different angles and whatnot. I'll show you guys right now so you can you can see what I'm talking about. And I was, uh, as I was doing that, I was kind of making this back because um, I thought it was like eight, uh, I thought it was symmetrical, where the top and bottom were kind of the same and this was the middle. Nope, I was wrong. Um, there's only engines on like the top and middle and the bottom kind of just ends here like one or two blocks below this so yeah and then after that it's pretty much just flat all the way across so we're probably going to have to move this to match it a little bit better but other than that we're pretty much almost done once we get the um um once we get um, this whole area up here done um the only real difficult spot after that is uh, there's like a little bit of a hangover down here at the bottom that just kind of curls into the front. So we'll mess with that when we get to it. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, I am also going to fix this because I don't really like the way that came out. I think I'm just going to extend this all the way to that and then like call it good. So we're going to work on that first. But yeah. Without further ado, um, let's go ahead and get into the build montage. Oh, wait, one more thing before we start. Um, I'm also planning to make uh, four versions of this ship. Uh, main reason why is um, I once we get all the other ships built and put them all in the same world, I don't know if most people's computers can be able to handle that. Because <laughs> it's going to be extremely demanding. I don't even know if space engineers will be able to handle it. So, um, I am going to make a, another ship or another version of this that's a quarter the size of the current ship so it'll be a lot better on scale when it comes to most people's computers and we might be able to use this mod the way i want to in the future and the other two versions are going to be atmospheric versions so this one will have all of its ionic thrusters changed to atmospheric thrusters so it can fly in in the atmosphere and same with the quarter scale version but yeah anyways um let's go ahead and get to the build montage
Okay, um, here's a quick update for you guys. Um, we got most of this over here good, good to go, which came out pretty good. And now we're working on the nose, which has been a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look good, but it's it's not coming out the way I want it to. <laughs> I might have to like play around with the stuff a little bit more to make them transcend the way I want to, because I want this to curve up into the middle. And then of course it's coming up from the back as well and then it's eventually going to go down and go down to the nose. But right now this is about what I got which doesn't look too bad but it doesn't look as smooth as I want it to so we may come back to this and play around with this later on in the future to try to make this look a little bit better. Um, but also I kind of want to get the sensor stuff going while we have this area exposed before we start filling it in because this break this corner thing right here is the next thing I want to fill in and then we'll start working on this side work on this side get all this filled in and then um, actually before we do that we will have to add I would need to upgrade the fusion drives and add a few more batteries in because we are going to be adding more thrusters I want more on the top um, probably a couple more layers over here and more on the back because we want to make sure that we have plenty of power because scouts are known for their speed. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so the stuff we want to implement, we want to have a, um, a long range laser which allows us to um, which allows the scout to communicate with the mothership because the mothership will have long-range lasers on it too to let them know um, that it's found something and can send the information to the mothership or carrier or whatever produ produ production facility is currently in that area. And scouts are the only ones that are going to have it other than the production ships because that's their, that's their main point. They're scouts. So, let's go ahead and go to our... A laser antenna. Um, this will have to be on the exterior in order for it to work. And I believe we're gonna put it on the underside. Hmm, or do we want to have it? I kind of want to have it like right here. Like right on top. We could put it there for now. And we'll need to extend this out a little bit more. But that's no biggie. We will just have to do this. And there's three of them, so... Um, we will do that. And move it over by one. There we go. Now we have a spot for our little laser tower. It's not uh, exactly in the middle, which is kind of bugging me. <laughs> I don't really want to redo this. Um, let's just go ahead. We can always change it in the future. There's still a lot of things I want to do before we actually get 100% done with this. Because we still have to paint, we still have to put the little decal things on. Um, there's still a lot we have to do. So let's go ahead, let's put our laser antenna there. Let me go ahead and get rid of these. Uh, let's go ahead and... There we go. Okay. And now the other thing we need is a ore detector, because that's another thing that the scout's going to be able to do. It's going to be able to go around detecting ore. I guess we will go ahead and put it underneath the... Um, uh, that thing. Okay, and that's going to be sealed in, because it doesn't need to be exposed. I kind of would like it closer to the front, actually. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Build some 
armor. And we will seal it in right here. So let's go to our ore. There we go. And you will be sealed. And since you're up in front, I do want to make sure that you have a decent amount of armor. Do, 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 do. And you are sealed away. Alrighty. It sure has its little armor capsule. We'll make it all fancy and smancy here in a bit. Actually, let's do that. Do you. Do you. Do you. And again, no one's going to seal this, this or see this as it's going to be sealed inside the ship. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I put that on backwards. Dang it. <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect, but still has to be practical. There we go. Okay. Let's get this one going. Yeah! Wrong direction. Okay. So our ore detector will be there. Our laser turret, which will be used to mark locations for the mothership and whatnot, is here. Um, I do kind of wish we could seal this, but I, I think this... Yeah, the laser antenna is not going to work unless it's uh, built onto the external of the ship. We can have a built-in antenna. Which I would actually like over here by our cockpit. In fact, I'm probably going to put it like right here. And again, we will move this a little bit more in the future. But just for now, to get this thing operating, we will put you... We'll put you right here. There we go. And obviously we'll change that name in the future, but the ore thing is all working. It's telling us where all the ore, things, ore stuff is. Good, good, good. And yeah, I think we're going, I think that's the main things that we need. We have the ore detector to find ore. We have the laser antenna so that we can put uh, coordinates to the mothership or whatever. Um, and we have our main antenna, which allows us to communicate with the mothership on short range things. Um, I can't think of anything else we would actually really need. We have our weapon systems, we have our engines and everything. This is just a scout ship, so it's not really designed for combat. So we have four weapons, but that's about it. Um, yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and go back to building. So yeah, let's go back to the building montage.
Okay, everybody. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Um, so far, <laughs> uh, we may have to redo the head a little bit more um, because uh, it's very difficult with all these like different like size shapes and everything to get them all like balanced out correctly. So I didn't do too good job over here. I found like a formula that was kind of working over here, which is nice. But the only problem is it kind of makes the head look like a serpent, <laughs> which isn't what I'm going for. I wanted to go with like a smooth transition, but it is very, very difficult to do that with this mod that adds these like six by one um, slopes that intertwine with each other. So I might have to come back here and it might, we might redo this or if you guys like it, um, let me know. But so far, this is what the scout ship looks like. It is almost complete. Uh, we have to, we just have to work on sealing up this area, sealing up this area, getting the engine working, um, um, or build the rest of the engines, fix that one spot that I haven't fixed yet, which is this one here. I want to, in fact, we'll probably do it real quick before I actually end. Um, it's not, not a difficult, uh, fix. So let's go ahead and do that. Do, do, do. Oops. Don't get rid of the sports, please. We just want to get rid of all of these. Mm -hmm. So far the scout's coming out pretty good. Whoops. Um, I don't need to get rid of those. So... Oops. Let's go ahead and put you back in. There we go. We just need to get rid of all these. <laughs> so that we can push this all up one more. Okay. And then, of course, we have to get rid of this one. Do, do, do. Now I have to remember exactly how this works. I believe it's like this. Yep. It's that. And then this. And then we go back and forth between the two. <laughs> boop. 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 And then. Er. Gimme. Um. There we go. We need to fill this area in. Do do do. Boop. And then you. I think I did made this. I think I did this the backwards way. I wanted this to be a smooth transition. Whoops! Well, anyways, we'll fix that in the next episode. I need to end this anyways because I am running out of time. <laughs> so we'll fix. We'll come back uh, next episode. We'll fix this the way I'm supposed to. I just want this to be one long um, slope going all the way down. And then once we're done with that, um, we will um, fill in this area, fill in this area, and um, oh. But before we do that, we do need to adjust these. We need to get more powerful. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now while I'm thinking about it. We need um, more powerful uh, generators. These are 45 megawatts. Okay. And we need... Do, 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 do. I forgot what the small ones are. Let's see, it's 30 gigawatt. Um, let's just go ahead and bring you down here. Cause I don't remember which ones we need. Uh, 20... 75. There we go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add a few more batteries in. Do do do. Er, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> uh, 
that's not how batteries work. Okay, and then we'll add three more over here. There we go. Okay, and that's because we're going to be adding a lot more um, thrusters to the uh, ship than previously wanted to do before. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And next episode, hopefully we will have most of this stuff done so we can start working on the other parts of the ship that I want to work on, like uh, painting and decorating. But yeah, until next time, guys. Whoop. That is not the button I wanted to click. I wanted to... There we go. Get rid of the UI. But anyways, guys, until next time, this is Captain Soban signing out. Attention fleet. Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle.